Hi guys, welcome to a video. Just before I get started, I will be saying the D word. I'm sure a lot of lesbians and other people will know what I'm talking about, but I will be saying the D word quite a lot in this video. So if it's something that kind of brings up negative feelings or if it makes you uncomfortable, please feel free to kind of click away and not watch the video. I just want to give a disclaimer before I start saying it, left, right and centre, and possibly making people feel uncomfortable. So I'm making this video for two reasons. Um, what's kind of sparked me making this uh, video or what's kind of pushed me onto this subject is recently I tried to post a couple of posts on YouTube in my community section which contain the word dyke because for me the word is a descriptor and these posts were disappearing the moment I posted them and um, I wasn't sure why and the first time it happened I thought it was just a glitch and I kind of forgot about it and then recently I tried to repost something and the post disappeared again and I did some sort of research and um, yes uh, YouTube will uh, censor words which it deems to be offensive which okay I'm not gonna kind of sit here and pretend that I don't know that it's a slur that is used against uh, lesbian women or women who are seen to be in lesbian relationships I do very well know it's a slur and I know it has that history I don't agree with YouTube censoring the word however I do understand why because there's probably a lot of people on this platform who are not using it with any kind of respect for anybody so I, I get it but the second reason I wanted to make this video is the word dyke is you know a point of debate in the lesbian community you know should we be using it who should be using it so I decided to do a little bit of digging look at the etymology of the word and I found it had quite an interesting history that I wanted to share with you guys so there's nothing set in stone about the origins of the word dyke uh, there are a lot of theories that it is derived from the word bull dyke and it actually historically wasn't always a descriptor aimed at women or aimed at gay women and from what I researched I got as far back as kind of like the mid 19th century and apparently from sort of the mid to the late 19th century the term dyke was used to describe a man who was quite well dressed which uh, which I can which I can certainly relate to and another thing to know about this word is from the research that I've done it is more entrenched in kind of gender expression and gender perception as opposed to sexuality so go Going back to the word bull dyke, if you separate the words bull and you separate the words dyke, when we think of a bull we think of something that's quite masculine and stubborn and a dyke is also something that is associated with kind of like a ditch and therefore a sort of a vulva, a dip. So obviously when you put these two words together and you apply it to a woman, you're kind of implying that the very core of her is kind of, is, is masculine and perhaps somewhat aggressive, I would say, because I would say bulls are also kind of associated with aggression. Usually, funnily enough, associated with a man trying to antagonise it, so perhaps there's something to it. So interestingly enough, the term dyke also appeared in early 20th century black literature, in books such as Tropic Death and Home to Harlem, and interestingly this black literature was written by uh, men, black men. So in the early 20th century we know that the word is being used as slang and as a descriptor for you know lesbians and masculine women because it's appearing in literature and then in the mid 20th century it begins to appear in kind of slang theosauruses where it becomes a synonym for lesbians. What's interesting as it's used both as a derogatory term for lesbians but also also just as a general descriptor by the lesbian and gay community which I don't think we've really moved away from all that much I mean considering YouTube has censored the word um, obviously it is still deemed as a slur but it should also be noted that for a long time it's also been used as a descriptor and that brings me to kind of the 1970s where there was this huge kind of a branch of specifically lesbian feminists who kind of described themselves as dykes and really did a lot of work to kind of reclaim back that word as a descriptor and give it a more positive spin and of course when you take the power out of the word and you reclaim it when other people are trying to use it against you as a slur it kind of just loses its meaning. So on to my kind of personal thoughts on this word. I think the word is incredibly significant throughout lesbian history. I prefer to call myself 
myself a dyke. I almost feel like it's a more solidified term than lesbian. It's not just recent years. What I found is the word lesbian, this is probably for another video, but what I've found with the word lesbian is it's a word that has many meanings. Of course, technically the word means homosexual woman, but because of its presence as a pornography category and so on and so forth, not that the, not that the word lesbian has been hijacked, I just, I feel like I connect more with the word dyke. However, I do think if you are a lesbian and you don't like this word, you know, because of the negative connotations and there is kind of definitely um, a history and a present in which this word is used to kind of uh, put lesbian women down, that's perfectly valid and I completely accept why women don't want to use the term and distance themselves from it. So yeah, that's just my thoughts and, and, and a little history on the word for you, because I didn't know um, really anything about the history, much past that it was uh, used as a slur. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, don't forget to subscribe for instant disappointment and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!